Greetings fellow pilgrims, I'm Doug, and today I'm going to be talking about the Osprey Exos 38 backpack. When I was first starting to consider going on the Camino, I started watching a lot of gear videos on YouTube. And one thing that just kept popping up over and over again, it seemed like practically every other person, we're talking about the Exos 38 from Osprey. And right now I want to talk to you about what I like about it, why I chose it. So let's just go through it step by step. First of all, the brand, Osprey. They are a very popular brand. They make a lot of great products. They are lightweight, they are functional, and they aren't too terribly expensive. One of the things that I really like about Osprey as a brand is that they put a lot of technology into their harness system. One of the best things about Osprey is this guy right here. If you look at the side of the pack, you can see that it's actually curved. And the idea is that you don't want a bunch of material pressed up against your back while you're hiking because that cuts off airflow, it increases heat retention, you're gonna sweat, it's gonna be nasty and uncomfortable and hot. There's this like trampoline material that goes the length of the pack. It's full of holes. So it's very breathable and it's very springy. So what's actually touching your back is this material, which means that air is able to get through, keeping your back aired out. The sweat's gonna come through and just blow off the way God intended. The Exos line from Osprey is their ultralight package. It is essentially the model you get when you're trying to go as light as possible. So there's very minimal strapping there's minimal padding. You can see that although we have nice thick padding here in the shoulder range, it thins out as you get lower and it thins out to nothing at the bottom. The hip belt is fairly unsubstantial. There's not a lot here. It's gonna hug you. It's not gonna be painful, but there's just not a lot there compared to say like a big expedition pack, which has you know pillows wrapped around your hips. Osprey is not in the top tier elite ultralight range like maybe Z-Packs, but for something that you can just walk into an REI, walk into any good backpacking store, you're gonna see it hanging on the wall or something a lot like it. This is called the Exos 38. The number, like many backpacks, indicates the total volume of the pack. 38 refers to 38 liters of volume. And as I said in a previous video, this is about right for the Camino. Most people in the high 30s, low 40s, that's really all you need. My day pack, which is only 24 liters, weighs three pounds. The Exos 38 in a large, which this is, is actually a little higher than 38. It's, it's more of a 41 liter pack. And yet it actually weighs less than my little day pack. I weighed this out at 41 ounces. That's two and a half pounds for 41 liters of storage, which means that basically I'm getting almost a liter of volume for every ounce of weight. And that is a pretty decent ratio. There are a number of things that drop the weight on this pack. I already showed you the harness system. The strapping that you do see on the backpack is fairly small. If you can see, this is not your big giant strap. These straps are pretty small. They're not insubstantial for the amount of weight that the pack is gonna be carrying. They're more than enough. And they do things like this. This little guy here is running in a zigzag pattern up and down the side of the pack. And what that means is you don't have any extra buckles, you don't have a lot of extra rings, you don't have a lot of extra strap material. It's just one piece that you can modify through the use of these little rings. If you don't feel that you actually need the entirety of the storage capacity, the lid actually comes off. You can see that it is held on by buckles. You can unbuckle this, take it off, and then pull out this little flap of material here that also has buckles on it. And now your pack is only this big. While we've got the lid open, let's have a look at the inside. The inside of the pack is basically just one big bag. It goes all the way to the bottom. There's no compartments. The only thing they do give you as far as organization is this elastic hydration bladder carrier. So this is H2O compatible. There's a little guy right here that, ta-da, lets you get your hydration pack stored in the back 
and out the front so that you can get to the tube. I will talk in another video about why I will not be using a water bladder on the Camino, but if you do like that sort of thing, you've got it ready to go. On the outside, you've got two pockets that run about half the length of the pack. So this one starts up here, ends down here, and one of the clever things about these pockets is that they actually have an opening on the side. Now obviously the opening isn't at the bottom or else everything would just fall through. The purpose of that opening is that while you're hiking along, you can actually reach behind you, get into the pocket, and pull out what is inside there. And if you've got some coordination, you can put it back in, all without taking the pack off. And finally on the front, you've got a nice big stretch mesh pocket that is great for wet clothes, a rain jacket, anything that you just want to stuff on the pack and have quick access to, but you don't really want to have to put on the inside. Obviously, if it's raining, the last thing you want to do is have to take your pack off, open the lid, open the bag. Now the rain's falling directly inside your backpack just to get your rain jacket out. With a pocket like this, you can just reach in, pull it out, and you're ready to go. On the lid, you've got a nice big storage compartment. It is dual sided, so if you open it, you've got storage underneath as well in a nice airy mesh bag. You've got the carry strap, you've got the sternum strap with the whistle. One thing I will say about the Exos 38, this model, is that the hip belt does not have any pockets. It's always better to go modular because if one part of the system fails, it can be replaced without taking the rest of the system down with it. Although a lot of people really like the pockets on the Exos hip belt, just as many, it seemed, were complaining about how small they were. And here's the problem. If you've got sewn on pockets, what are you going to do if you don't like them? I mean, I suppose you could rip the stitching out and take them off and replace them with something bigger. But what the new model does is it basically says, we are just going to start you off with the bare minimum. We're going to keep it light. You've got spots to add pockets if you want to. Z-Pax makes great little pouches. They weigh practically nothing. They're Cuban fiber, so they're water resistant or waterproof. If you really want some pockets on your belt, just get them and put them on there. Personally, for the Camino, I'm going to go with a waist pack. And the reason is that when I get into a town and I drop this thing off at the albergue and I want to go walk around, I don't want to have to leave all of my stuff there, and I don't want to have to stuff my pockets full of things. So I'm going to keep my essential things, my carry-around things, like my wallet, passport, money, that sort of thing, in my waste pack at all times. It's waterproof. I can take it with me into the shower. I can take it with me. That, that thing is not going to leave my person the entire time I'm on Camino. But I do want to be able to drop the pack. So although having a couple extra pouches might be nice, I can always add those later. And in the meantime, if I don't need them, I don't want to carry it around. The last thing I want to mention about the Exos 38 is that it does not come with a rain cover, and it is not a waterproof pack. Now, on the Camino, you are almost certainly going to get rained on, and that means you've got to make some decisions about your pack. Now, you can line your pack with a compactor, a trash bag, to keep the interior dry. You can pack everything you have in dry sacks. So there are a number of ways to keep the things in the pack dry, even if the pack itself gets wet and soaks through. One bummer about that, though, is that if your pack soaks through, you are now carrying all of that water weight on your back for nothing. So you're actually gaining pack weight, and now you've got a soaking wet backpack, and maybe there's going to be mildew issues or something. Not a great idea. So I personally got an extra one. This rain cover is made by Grips, G-R-Y-P-S. I'll put a link in the description below. It was only $12 on Amazon. And I really like this one because not only is it waterproof, which I have verified, but instead of just having the elastic band that allows you to flip it over the top of the pack, it includes this buckle system. And what this does is allow the strap to pass through behind your shoulder straps, and that keeps it from just flopping off backwards. And so now you've got a nice, solid, rain-proof pack for 12 bucks. One last feature I want to talk about on the Exos 38 is its trekking pole storage system. This is also quite unique. What you have is on the front of the left strap, you've got an elastic band that is adjustable. 
Corresponding to that is this loop down here at the bottom. Now this is not an ice axe loop. Rather what it is, is something you can pull out, stick your poles in, run them up through the top loop. And what it does essentially is allow your poles to ride right along with you out of your arm's way. You can literally swing your arms while you're walking and the poles are just at a perfect angle to extend behind you and in front of you such that if you want them, you just pull the loop off, pull them out and go. And when you're done, you put them back through the loop, put the elastic over it and you're good to go. You don't even have to collapse your poles. I do not like starting and stopping on a hike. When I am going and I'm in that groove, I don't want to have to stop, unbuckle everything, get something out, put everything back on, readjust. If I've got to go through a whole big thing every time I want to let go of my trekking poles for a while, it's going to get pretty annoying. So that's another reason that I think that the Osprey Exos 38 is an excellent bag for the Camino de Santiago. All right, well, that is it for me. I am Doug. This is Camino 2020. If this video has helped you out, I would really love it if you gave it a like. Hit the subscribe button, click the bell so that you get notifications of future videos, and until then, Boyan Camino.